And the Prophet ﷺ, he says the last thing the people will look for is the religion. And listen what he said. He says, Fadfar, bidati dini teribati adak. He says, hasten. The word Fadfar is amazing. Adfar means like grab with your molar teeth. The one that she have, the religion and the deen. If you don't follow them, you, you dig in your own grave. And you are going to suffer, you are going to go to the court, you are going to, to cry, and you can lose everything. Why? Because you was arrogant, or you were selfish. I want to marry for myself. I need the best woman. We all make this mistake. We make tawbah, we, some of us make mix between this and this. And I will go to the hadith, by the way. There is a hadith, I wish I can mention now, because I don't want to forget. <laughs> But anyway, Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, he says, hey, he says, he mar my mother, he did not choose a good mother for me. You know, you think your son does not feel like that? Even now, they, they do. They are smart. They say, why you choose this? In his mind, but he will never say, dare to say. Who will say in the world, my mother is not good? Out, out loud. But he will look at you and he will say, why you did this? In his mind. Wallah, he sometimes puts your shoes on. Why you choose this woman for me? But he would never say. He has to be dutiful. Now you are put on a test. You put him on a big test to be, because al walidain, which is cutting off with the parent, is a path to Jahannam. Wabil walidain ihsana. Even if they are kuffar, there's a different topic. But you put him on that situation. You put him on that ibtila. We put them on that this. Whether the woman also could, could marry the wrong father, that he's an alcoholic. And your son has to put up with that father. Your children have to put up with that. Or maybe they may lose and live without a father. See how to choose. So number two, we said, number one is dua. Number two is to choose the right spouse. To choose. He says, oh my, oh Umar, he did not choose the right mother for me. Number two, he says, he did not teach me one word of the Quran. See, look, he said, he never teach me one word. Number three, he said, he chose the worst name for me. Ju'la. Ju'la. You know what is Ju'la? The beetle? You know the beetle? He's came, hey, Ju'la. And it's haram for you to call your son. You have to choose. To choose because we become our name. You call your son Hassan. And the Prophet used to change the name of people. When somebody says, my, the, what's your name? He says, Harb. Harb means war. He says, you are sin, you are peace. The Prophet used to change names if they are wrong, if they are not good, if they are bizarre, they are inconceivable. So this is one thing. Let's go to the Prophet ﷺ and see what did he say about this. The Prophet ﷺ said one hadith for the woman and one hadith for the man. If I mention these two hadith, so the women if they are listening, they don't, they're not going to say, oh, you're talking about just... No, there is a hadith for the Prophet for equal parties. This is you go to the Prophet ﷺ, he says, Tunkahul Maratuli Arba. That human beings, they are looking for marriage because of four things. Four things. The Prophet ﷺ, man is looking for these four. He says, number one, he says, beauty. Everyone, he said, and he mentioned number one, beauty. I don't care. There was a man. <laughs> he says he, he came from Qatar, was working, came to Egypt. He saw, he was passing by the market. He saw a beautiful lady. He went to his mother. He only have his mother. He says, my mother, this is the only thing I have to marry. This If I don't marry, I die. This is, you know what I'm saying? I have to marry the woman. Anyway, the mother went, they went, he got married. The, without quality, just the beauty. He saw the picture. When they get home, the first day, she told him, listen, I have two things to tell you. <laughs> he began with, he says, your, my clothes and the clothes of your mother should not be on the same laundry. Because your mother, she's old. I'm young. Allahu Akbar. And then, she, 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 uh, he, so now the, the, he took this, says, subhanallah. She said another thing, and, then, and one of them, she said, she was, she speaks actually ra, ra, she calls it ra. You know, we have these people, Ra, and says like Daraba, they will say what? Daraba. So it's a defect on the language. I don't know if the people, they can fix it or not. I'm not making fun or anything, but that's how you, the clothes of your laundry mother and mine, they cannot be. And the, the complaint that he never know, that the word uh, Ra, she says Ra. So he went to a sheikh. 
He says, yeah, Shaykh, I just got married about a week ago. And this woman, she keeps telling me this. And I have only my mother. I cannot uh, put my mother in the street. And this woman, she doesn't like my mother. That's number one. And number two, she says, Ra, she calls it Ra. You know, he says in Arabic, he says, Eh, Rab, bijildik ya amur. You know, eh, Rab, yani run away with your skin. Yeah, beautiful guy. But he said it in Arabic, Eh, Rab, bijildik ya amur. So the Prophet, وسلم, he says, the majority of the people, they go after beauty. Tunkahu and hadith sahih. Sahih Bukhari wal Muslim. He says, Tunkahu al mar'atu li arba' li jamaliha, li maliha, li hasabiha, li diniha. Beauty, status, and uh, money. Some women, they have money, they have a job. So he says, if I marry this woman, she is good, she has money, she pay, pay the bills with me, are we good? And he forgot the rijalu qawwamuna ala nisa, that the, the male, they are more uh, responsible financially for their wives. And the Prophet Sallallahu he says, the last thing the people will look for is the religion. And listen what he said. He says, Fadfar bidati dini taribati yadak. He says, hasten. The word Fadfar is amazing. Adfar means like grab with your molar teeth. The one that she have, the religion and the deen. And then he says, taribati yadak. Your hand will be stuck on the dust. I saw this on my own life. When the people, they don't do this, it doesn't mean that you don't look for beauty. That's, don't misunderstand the hadith. The hadith is only telling you, do not prefer beauty over religion. If a woman, she have all of this, or a man, there's a hadith for the woman about this. You can, you can do this, but don't prefer the money over the deen. Because the Prophet Sallallahu he says, if you do that, you are going to lose everything. What a, what a hadith for the people who are not married. When you look for marriage, you look for the deen, number one. Khawf min Allah, fear of Allah, taqwa, consciousness, tarbiyah. That's someone who knows salat, you look at them. Look at their prayer, look at their parents, look at their family, look at them how they talk. Look what, is, what their dream, look what they study, what their book. This is the deen. If not, the Prophet ﷺ, he says, your hand will be stuck on the dust. It means you're gonna be zero. One guy, I met him in Florida. He said, brother, I want to talk to you. Pulls me in the side. He says, I was married for 25 years. Now I live in my car on the street. Wallahi, I met a lot of people like this. Why? Because the foundation of a family, it's not the house, it's not the nice car, it's not the beauty, it's not the skin but it's the heart and the iman and taqwa of that woman.